This is the Find X5 Pro, Oppo's latest flagship smartphone where they were cool enough to send it out to us early and sponsor today's video. Inside of the box, we get the typical paperwork along with an included case. We have the phone itself, of course. And then yes, there is actually a charger included. And not just any charger, but Oppo's 80 watts Super VOOC charger, which they say can charge the phone from nearly empty to 50% in just 12 minutes, which is crazy fast. But here is the phone itself. And right off the bat, this thing looks different from what we're used to seeing. The ceramic rear panel here flows seamlessly into the camera bump instead of having a separate housing or cutouts on top of it, which gives this phone a really modern look to it. I mean, this feels like a phone that a stormtrooper would use. But beyond just the look of it, the seamless design also comes with some practical benefits in that it won't pick up anywhere near the amount of pocket lint that you typically get with a traditional camera. And the soft curve here makes it a little bit more comfortable to rest your finger under if you have big giant hands like I do. But let's go over some of the big specs. You get a 6.7 inch 120 hertz display that can adjust all the way down to one hertz to save on battery life. There's a massive 5,000 milliamp hour dual cell battery. You get 80 watts of wire charging, 50 watts of wireless charging, and 10 watts of reverse wireless charging. The phone is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and Oppo's all new custom Mary Silicon X imaging chip that's supposed to take low light photo and video to the next level, with Oppo saying that this imaging chip has the processing power to capture each frame in a 4K video as clean as it does in a still photo. Now, that is a big claim. We'll be testing it out later, but first, First, let's talk about the camera system itself. So Oppo is taking a different approach than other manufacturers, where instead of using their best camera sensor only on that main wide camera, they're using the same flagship 50 megapixel Sony sensor on the ultra wide camera as well. With the idea being that when you switch over from wide to ultra wide, you won't see that big drop in quality like you do on most other phones. Oppo did also include a 13 megapixel 2X telephoto lens for when you really need it. But really the main focus on the Find X5 Pro is on these two cameras that people end up using most often anyways. And the results are pretty impressive. We've only had the phone for a couple of days now, but so far the images coming out of the wide and the ultra wide have been really good with the tempid color and the dynamic range seeming a step up above other phones, especially in low light. Just for comparison, here are some photos we took on both the Find X5 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max, where the Oppo just does a better job at capturing the colors in the scenes. In this photo of my car, for example, the iPhone kind of crushed the blacks, whereas on the Oppo, it retained all the data with the tree sap on the hood of my car being clearly visible, whereas on the iPhone, that little detail was completely lost. In this photo in front of a movie theater, it's kind of the same thing again. On the Find X5 Pro, the color on the bricks on the floor are richer and in general, I found that the colors coming out of the Oppo are more accurate to what things actually look like in person. But so far, we've only been looking at low light photos shot on the wide cameras. When you switch over to the ultra wides, because the Find X5 Pro has the same flagship sensor for the ultra wide, the difference is even bigger. So in this ultra wide photo in front of the movie theater again, the Find X5 not only has better dynamic range, but it's also a lot sharper of an image. Just look at the lines between the bricks on the floor or the details near the lamppost. But what about video, right? That's an area where most phones struggle in low light, especially Android phones. And considering the low light situations that we shot it in, the Find X5 Pro handled things pretty well. That Mary Silicon X works overtime to reduce the noise, while the five axis image stabilization system helps make the videos smoother. But really the most impressive part out of this whole setup is when you switch over to the ultra wide, because normally in low light, Ultra wide cameras aren't the best. In fact, most phones kind of break down in terms of quality, but on the Find X5 Pro, it looks surprisingly good. Just look at how it stacks up to the ultra wide camera on the iPhone here. It just has way less noise and a sharper image overall to the point where I can easily say this is the best ultra wide camera I have ever used in a smartphone. But moving on, let's talk about the rest of the phone. So on the front, you have a 32 megapixel selfie camera. 
there's a super fast in-screen fingerprint scanner, you have dual stereo speakers, and we already mentioned it, but it's worth talking about again, the fast charging on this thing is next level. So 80 watts of wire charging with the included charger and 50 watts of wireless charging with an AirVook charger, which they say is fast enough to get the phone from nearly empty to 100% in just 47 minutes. That's on a wireless charger, so just crazy fast. Now, in terms of the software experience on the phone, it's color OS on top of Android 12, meaning you get a pretty clean Android experience with extra features like lock screen gestures, it's got privacy options where you can disable the data on any app completely to make sure anything from that app stays on your device. And as you'd kind of expect from a phone with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and 12 gigabytes RAM, everything is fast and snappy. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this phone. The camera system brings something new to the table, the screen is vibrant, and this futuristic and seamless design that stays looking clean is probably one of my favorites right now, especially in this white color. There's a bunch of other new stuff with the phone. I'll leave a link down below to Apple's website and socials. So if you're interested, you can follow them over there. But anyways, that is it for me in this video and I'll see you in the very next episode.